Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS text shadow property versus CSS box shadow property. The difference between CSS text shadow property and box shadow property is CSS text shadow property is used to apply the shadow effect to the text of an HTML element, whereas Box shadow property is used to apply shadow effect to the HTML element itself. Whenever you create an HTML element in the page, it is going to occupy a rectangle box area on the browser friends. You can imagine like every HTML element as one rectangle box. I am going to demonstrate it soon. To both text shadow property and box shadow property, we can assign a space separated list of values. You can see here four different values we are going to assign to text shadow property and box shadow property. Shadow X offset value indicates how far the shadow should be shifted either to the left or to the right that is horizontally. Shadow Y offset indicates how far the shadow should be shifted either to the up or to the down that is vertically. Shadow color spread amount indicates how much the color should be spread. And the last value indicates the shadow color itself. Let's see the demonstration and get some idea. I go to the notepad. You can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. In the body section, we have two headings. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo and it is displaying two heading text. When you see the browser output, you don't feel like there are two rectangle boxes are there. Let me go to the notepad. In the first heading, I am going to say style equal to, I say background dash color of yellow semicolon. I am going to copy this inline style, paste in the second h1 also, file, save, go to browser and refresh. Now you can very clearly see there are two rectangle areas, right? In the first rectangle area, we have the first heading text. In the second rectangle area, we have second heading text. That means every HTML element is going to occupy a rectangular area on the browser frame. Text shadow property is used to apply the shadow to the text of a HTML element. Let's see the demonstration. Here, I am going to say text dash shadow shadow 0px 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 I say black color and I am going to copy this text shadow and paste it in heading 2 also. Instead of text shadow here I say box shadow. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You don't see anything. You can see there is no shadow effect applied because everything is set to 0 pixels. Right? Let me tell you step by step. Here I am going to say 5px, 5px. The third value indicates how much the shadow color should be spread, right? File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the shadow is visible. You can think like you are using a torchlight and um, the direction of the torchlight is towards the computer. And you can observe the text shadow is exactly visible behind the text and the box shadow is exactly visible behind the rectangle box, right? Can you see here the shadow visible? Yeah, right. Now, here the first value in both the places indicates horizontal shifting, right? X offset. If I say here 5, here 5, we are shifting the shadow towards right 5 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see now the shadow is shifted towards right by 5 pixels, right? Similarly, if I write here minus 5, minus 5, file, save, go to browser and refresh. Now the shadow is shifted towards left, right? Text shadow is also shifted towards left 5 pixels and box shadow is also shifted towards left 5 pixels. That is how you can use the first value to shift the shadow either to the left or to the right. Let me assign 0 back to 0. File, save, go to browser and refresh. No shifting. Now I am going to use the second value. Here I am going to say 5 px here I am going to say 5 px. What actually I am doing? I am shifting the shadow downwards 5 pixels. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that 
text shadow is shifted downwards 5 pixels and box shadow is also shifted downwards 5 pixels there is no horizontal shifting similarly if i say here minus 5 minus 5 what i am doing i am shifting the shadow upward by minus 5 pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see that shadow is shifted upward by 5 pixels let me put back to 0 here 0 0 file save go to browser and refresh no shifting of the shadow now what i do i am going to say here shift the text shadow 5 pixels to the right and 5 pixels bottom shift the box shadow minus 5 pixels to the left minus 5 pixels to up file save go to browser and refresh you can clearly observe that text shadow is shifted to the right 5 pixels and down 5 pixels whereas box shadow is shifted to the left 5 pixels and up 5 pixels hope you guys are understanding what are these values indicate similarly i can change the color at any time if i want i change here to red here also red file save go to browser and refresh now text shadow as well as box shadow are in red color hope you guys have understood clearly how we can use the text shadow and box shadow property i suggest you people to experiment more for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get some more information on css for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much See you in the next tutorial.